Well, joining me now is David Knight, and we are going to break down what, what this democratic socialism looks like. Now, James Woods, the actor, called Bernie Sanders an utter moron because he's praising China's maternity leave policy. He actually tweeted, China, not exactly seen as a model when it comes to human rights, provides 14 weeks of paid maternity leave. The U.S. provides zero. David? Yeah, there you go. So Bernie Sanders essentially is saying, uh, yeah, you know, the first child, you get maternity leave. And then after that, we take them for baby parts, you know, all, right. all the kids after that, because that's what they're doing in China. We had a uh, interview that, from 1985 that surfaced today from Bernie Sanders. He was mayor of Burlington, Vermont at the same time. And he had just been to Nicaragua. And I want you to hear what he has to say in this interview. As a socialist, the word socialism does not frighten me. And I think it's probably fair to say that the Nicaraguan government is primarily a socialist government. How do you find the sincerity of Sandinista leaders? I was impressed. Now, obviously, I will be attacked by every editorial writer in the free press for being a dumb dupe. Uh, maybe I am. Uh, I was impressed by their intelligence and by their sincerity. These are not political hacks, you know. Okay, so he says uh, socialism doesn't frighten him. Well, it ought to frighten him. It ought to frighten all of us. And, you know, he says, uh, maybe I'm just a dupe. <laughs> I guess the question is, maybe? <laughs> I mean, do you understand what's going on in Nicaragua? Before he went there, the Sandinistas had pursued a policy of ethnic cleansing against the Indians, imprisoning 14,000, displacing 10,000. They'd closed all radio stations, except, of course, the government radio stations. They had limited trade unions, of all things, and, of course, imposed martial law. But after Bernie Sanders visited, you saw a coalition of conservatives, liberals, and even communists throw out Daniel Ortega. And the guy was so corrupt that days before he left, all the private property that they had seized, which was in the billions of dollars, Daniel Ortega made private property again, except he made it Daniel Ortega's private property. And, of course, his friends who are in the Sandinistas. So this is the guy that Bernie Sanders supports. This is the kind he wants to rail up against the corruption in Wall Street. Take a look at Hugo Chavez in Venezuela. And, of course, he had an alliance with Daniel Ortega at the time as well. This is a guy who Bloomberg was bragging about the fact they got 700% return on their investment from Venezuelan communists because they understood that the bankers get paid first. What did the rest of the people get? The people who needed food, medicine, water in Venezuela, they have to go to another country to get that. But of course, think about how Bernie Sanders determines this guy is good. Listen to what he has to say about how authentic these guys are. He doesn't use that word, but listen to what he says about the people that he met with. I was impressed by Father Descoto, and, and, and he is a very gentle, very loving man. He's familiar with Burlington, Vermont. He had a niece who graduated uh, from uh, St. Michael's College, actually, who is now working for the government of Nicaragua. Uh, Ortega is an impressive guy. Uh, Ernesto Cardinal is a, is a funny-looking guy. He's gray hair, and he really does remind you of a hippie. I mean, Ernesto, and in fact, uh, you know, we talk, he's very strongly into poetry, uh, he is uh, very proud of the fact that they are now teaching poetry, not only to peasants and to workers, but in the, in the military, uh, in the police department. Uh, a very impressive guy. All right, so Leanne, what he's saying is these guys are okay. He says they're hippies, they're kind of counterculture, they're spouting poetry, they've got connections to Vermont. So how could these guys be bad? I mean, they're socialists, okay? They must be good. Here's the, here's the issue. Bernie Sanders makes the same mistakes that his supporters make. He looks at these guys, he said, hey, they look just like me. They're hippies, they're socialists, they're, they're good guys because they look like me. And of course, he thinks that because the American foreign policy was evil at the time, this is a time of Iran-Contra affair. This was a government that we had continually overthrown. And of course, our policies were evil and murderous as well. But that doesn't make the Sandinistas good guys. And just because the Wall Street guys are bad doesn't mean the communists and the socialists are good guys. That's why Bernie Sanders is a dupe. That's why he's been blinded by this, and his supporters have been blinded by this left-right paradigm. And you've got the blind leading the blind. That's what Bernie Sanders is doing, and that's what his followers are doing. He looks at these guys and he said, hey, they're not political hacks. No, they were uh, not political hacks. They were socialists. That's even worse than political hacks. So he's duping the, the dupes. Yeah. We're being duped by the duper. Exactly. And he <laughs> talks about Ernesto Cardinal. We need to understand Ernesto Cardinal was a liber liberation theologist, just like Pope Francis. He was first and foremost a communist. He was a political hack who used Christ as a beard. And that's precisely what's being done now. So we need to look at all this. We need to understand that Bernie Sanders then 
was like his supporters are now. And in 30 years, he hasn't learned a single thing about socialism, about communism, and of course, the, the left-right paradigm. That's what he's selling people in. Well, it seems to me that they are choosing their candidates on who's going to make a really good character for SNL. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, he's got that. <laughs> Identity politics. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, and of course, China is notoriously um, famous for killing female infants there with their population control. So James Woods is appropriate in calling him an utter moron for praising China for their maternity leave.